Hi, this is Larry Zorro. Today we're going to look at the biggest sign in the Bible that Jesus is coming soon. You know what it is, don't you? You probably do. Matthew 24, 15, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Well, when Israel became a nation, they made it possible for the rebuilding of the Jewish temple. You would think, now wouldn't you, that that's a good thing, the Jews are, or they're going to fulfill end time prophecy. But you know, I look at the rebuilding of the Jewish temple as prophesied, but it's abomination of desolation. The temple itself is an abomination. And the Antichrist, when he enters into the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, that's just the icing on the cake. The Antichrist is the icing on the cake of abominations. Now, we should all get the hint. We know that the Jews were first commissioned to, what? First Chronicles 23, 31. And to offer all burnt sacrifices unto the Lord in the Sabbath and the new moons on a set feast by number according to the number commandeth unto them continually before the Lord. We, we know that was instituted by God, the sacrifices on the feast days. But then in Isaiah 1, 4, it really says something strange. It says, your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hateth. They are trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. Well, especially today in this day and age, when we know about the beautiful Son of God who came to this earth and he died as the Passover lamb for all times. He died for the sins of all men. That's why we celebrate Easter. Yeah, that's right. Easter. Jesus Christ is the Passover lamb for all time. He had put an end to all the sacrifices that the Jews hoped to obtain in these end times. But you know, you can't have the temple unless you have the rebuilding of the nation of Israel a rebuilding of all the, the false religion and practices that the Jews do today after rejecting the Savior. How close are we to the rebuilding of the temple? Well, I would say we already got the nation of Israel. We already got people wanting to rebuild. Yeah, have you ever heard of the, uh, the Temple Institute? They're the ones that collect all the money. They've, they've even gone to Christians. Hey, help us rebuild the temple. We know that it's very much part of your, your end-time prophecy. Does, don't you want to help us? It's like the devil. You know, I'm the Antichrist, and you know, I'm here, and I'm very much the end of prophecy. Would you like to, to help me? You know, help me to gain power? Of course, you'd say, no way in hell. But uh, they, they have collected most of the instruments that they need to rebuild the Jewish temple. It's just a matter of somebody in, in the political arena to say, okay, it's time. Rebuild it. And, and you think it had been a lesson to them that God destroyed the temple. Not one block was left upon another that they would get the hint that maybe that's not what God wants, the rebuilding of the Jewish temple. But anyway, if you go to uh, Daniel 12, and it says, from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there should be 1,290 days or three and a half years. But if you look at this, I used to thought, well, maybe you had to have the daily sacrifices would have to be done in a, in a temple, but maybe not. We are already seeing sacrifices not done in a temple but it's just a matter of doing it more frequently. There was an article that, that talked about in April 2nd, 2012, during a display to the public in Jerusalem, Israeli police have detained more than a dozen people suspected of trying to sacrifice a goat in the city around the Passover holiday. Now, did they do it? Well, according to this, says Israeli police and veterinary Services supervised the slaughter, the first ritual sacrifice to take place inside the walls of Jerusalem in 2,000 years. According to local media, the activist group behind the ceremony, the Temple Mount Institute, funded 36,000 shekels, which is about $10,000 for the occasion. He spent all that money. I hate to be that goat. 
but they did it for a sacrifice during Passover. Wow, when's the month of Passover? You got any idea? It starts March 30th and ends April 7th. So you keep your eyes open. I might be jumping on this a little too soon, but keep, keep your eyes open on Passover 2018. See how many of these Jews want to sacrifice these cute little goats. Maybe some sheep. Uh, police arrested, they said, a Jewish man carrying a baby goat to the old city on suspicion of planning a ritual sacrifice. A day earlier, police arrested several Jewish activists, including five minors, for the same plan. The activists, they were, they condemned the, the arrest as silencing freedom of worship, saying that, that Israel is losing its democratic character. Let's go to another article that I was reading. In the first far right, Jews sacrificed lamb near Temple Mount. For the first time, the group, this is, was April 9th, 2017, says for the first time, the group was allowed to hold the ceremony just a few hundred meters from the, the mount, which is administered by Muslim religious trust. That is real interesting. It, says, it went on to say that, that drops of blood formed a long trail in one of the main plazas of Jerusalem Old City. This time, it wasn't terror attack, but it was definitely was a sensitive event from a Middle Eastern perspective. They went on to say, this is in 2017, this is the sixth year in which Temple Mount activists have staged the reenactment with barefoot priests in white garments resembling those worn by priests of the ancient temples and gold-painted vessels modeled after those of temples strewn about the altar. But you know what's interesting? You come to the very end of this article, and uh, this person says, Ultimately, the government wants to serve the people, and the people want the temple. The people want to offer sacrifices. At this rate, the day isn't far off, just a few more years, when, well, be privileged to do sacrifices on the Temple Mount itself. There's a guy saying just a few more years. That must be how close we are to the rapture. When that starts up, it's just a matter of time before something happens to the Temple Mount sacrifices where it will cease. And then, well, we'll look at that again in Daniel. And from the time that the daily sacrifice, say they're on the Temple Mount, there's daily sacrificing now. And the abomination that maketh desolate set up, I believe it's the Temple, there should be three and a half years. Hmm. That would be an interesting subject. How long does it take for a Temple to be built? But anyway, maybe it doesn't really matter because it says here, for it to be set up, it should be 1,290 days. Well, we know that the uh, these are very end-time events, but when we see indications like this, you can't really say, well, well, the rapture could be hundreds of years away. It can be. Israel became a nation. And I'm not talking about the budding of the fig tree. You don't even need that. You just need the fact that there's going to be people in the land of Israel that wants to build a temple that would be Jews. So really, you don't have much time. And they're already practicing some form of temple sacrifice is already proven to you by these articles. So if that isn't proof enough that we're in the end time, I don't know what is. Well, this is Larry Zorro. Take care. God bless.